somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at Kung Fu Panda Part 3. This is from 2016, and tentatively, this is the end of the ride for our Kung Fu Panda journey. So we got a big teaser at the end that there's a whole village full of pandas still living. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see where this one goes. Yeah, I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see how this one goes after that exciting ending to figure out that there are more pandas out there as we saw Kung Fu could beat fireworks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, look, I think, what did they say? There's another one coming out next year, right? Possibly 2020. So once again... Yeah. A crew here at Bad Medicine <laughs> spoiled being able to watch a bunch of them in a row from a, such a great series, and then we got to win. <laughs> Poor us, but uh, the first Poor. two were really phenomenal. Great voice acting, mm -hmm. really fun stories. I just can't wait to see this third one. All right, without further ado, let's go! Start, yeah. Uh, starting off like the storytelling yeah. yeah. Oh, he's got to go on the moon. <laughs> ah, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Those pandas are natural sprinters. Not so yeah. good in long distance. Pandas are sprinters? I've just seen videos of them rolling around and falling <laughs> off stuff. Just chewing on bamboo. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Itchy nose. <laughs> <laughs> Some jade daggers? Hi, old friend. Our battle ended 500 years ago. Well, now I'm ready for a rematch. Whoa. Whoa. What? This guy's just cutting stuff in half in the spirit world or wherever we are. I have taken the chi of every master, and soon I will have your power too. The more you take, the less you have. Yes. Oh, the old yin yang. Whoa. Whoa. With your chi, I will finally be able to return to the mortal world. Oh, that's his plan. It was never my destiny to stop you. I have set another on that path. I keep losing this guy. Then I will find him. Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer. <laughs> 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 It's awfully light on his feet. <laughs> God, this animation is so cool the way they do this. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <He's just stopped. laughs> we'll have two justice platters, please. Tigress, did you want extra sauce with that? She wants it on the side. On the side. On the side. <laughs> Go, Dragon Warrior! Defend the valley! Do we have to strike a pose every time we land? Never underestimate the power of a dramatic entrance. <laughs> oh! Dramatic entrance. Before the battle of the fist comes the battle of the mind. The dramatic entrance. <laughs> That's oh. pretty dramatic. That's about as cool as it gets. Today will be my final class. I didn't even know you were sick. Although <laughs> you have been looking a little... I'm not sick. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, your training will be in the hands of the Dragon Warrior. Why not Tigress? She's always telling everyone what to do. Be quiet, Poe. You see what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, they're the five. What could I teach them? Let me show you another move. The dramatic exit. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> that, what? Where'd he go? Master. Master. He's gone, guys. It's cool. We await your instruction, Master. Seriously, how bad can it be? Okay, okay, let's switch it up. Okay. Oh, oh no, fire! Fire! Stop! <laughs> uh -oh. oh, my claw thingy! <laughs> my claw. <laughs> you two do a swarming insect bite, yellow jacket, uh, spicy. Two of <laughs> 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 Sushi order. 
<laughs> Good job. Oh, did you at least learn a little something? That you can't teach. And Tigress is flammable, turns out. <laughs> turns Tigress out. is flammable. Well. Well. Turns out. Glad we're not Poe right now. What a loser. <laughs> I think he heard us. I didn't hear anything. He said you're a loser. <laughs> I can't be mad at the geese because I like them so much. <laughs> Sorry, Uguay. <laughs> Would you stop doing that? How was your first day teaching? Humiliating. I heard. I heard from Monkey and Crane and Mantis and your dad. <laughs> <laughs> if you only do what you can do, you will never be more than you are. You don't even know who you are. Of course I do. I'm the dragon warrior. And what exactly does that mean? Going around and punching and kicking. You think that is what the great Master Ugwe saw for you? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Incredible power awaits you. Oh, what was that? That was Chi. So you're saying if I teach, I'll be able to do cool stuff like that? No. <laughs> She's just a little, little, little pawn. <laughs> she requires mastery of self. Ugwe sat alone in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> look, at her, look at her, the floor. <laughs> I'm lucky if I get five minutes before you interrupt. Oh, there's no way I'm ever going to be like you. I'm not trying to turn you into me. Turn me into me? Wait a second, that makes no... Oh. I don't think those are the northern lights. <laughs> Late egg. If I stepped on you, would you die? <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Ugwe? I'm back. Kai has returned! Who? Kai. General Kai. Master of pain. You may know me as the Beast of Vengeance. Oh, J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons. Oh. Yeah, he caught it right when he said it like that. Okay, I used to work with Ugwe. Oh. Wait, okay. Lies and silence. Find Ugwe's students and bring them to me. Eyes <laughs> coming. I am ready. Attack! It's the dragon teacher. Yeah, he's so handsome. <laughs> Paul. Oh, hey, yes. Dad. What's up? Got his radishes. Mm -hmm. Soak. You're taking a bath with your doll. Action figures. Instead of adding bath salt to the <laughs> water, it's just add a Szechuan peppercorns. <laughs> oh, 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 my tenders. <laughs> <laughs> my tenders. Well, Shifu says I don't know what it means to be the dragon warrior. Now I have to be a teacher? Uh, that's a promotion. I take the job, son. I can sell noodles in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> No one's gonna beat your dumpling eating record. Someone's about to beat your dumpling eating record. Who's eating my dumplings? Who are you? I'm Lee Shan. I'm looking for my son. Is that Brian Cranston? It is Brian Cranston. I lost my father. I'm very sorry. Good luck to you. You too. And I hope <laughs> you find your Oh father. my god. <laughs> 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 Son? Oh my gosh! I can't believe you're alive! Aww. Aww. See, Little Lotus was the name you were given at birth. Come, say hi to, um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure he said his name is Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Thank you for taking such good care of my son. Belly go. I can't believe we're taking a picture again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Poe was the only panda left. There's a whole bunch of us. Where? A secret panda village in the mountains. A secret panda. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you receive a message if no one could find you message from the universe Whoa. how did you know i was a dragon warrior did the universe tell you that too no the poster did and the gift shop i bought a tiny cup <laughs> i bought a tiny cup <laughs> come on come on Aww. he's like my favorite do you have panda asthma too 
Is that Ren and Valley? Panda asthma. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Hall of Heroes. This place is awesome. Totally. But be super careful. Everything's very fast. Yeah, look at that. Someone broke that once. Who? Some idiot. Look at the other one. It's like broke. it's broke. <laughs> Wonder if I could fit. It. Wonder the same thing. If I could fit it. If you could know, if I could fit. Master Ram's crossbow, the infamous gate smasher. Dad, look at this. Master Dolphin's waterproof armor. This is my favorite. Old man's gonna have the rhino. Yeah. Yep. Armor. There it, it is. is. Sorry. Sorry. Should I put it back? You look so cool, though. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty cool. <laughs> They're just they got everything. Reinforcements. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bring it on, Master Rhino. Here I come. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, it again. You're never gonna guess who just showed up. Your no, father. father. Whoa, how did you just guess that? They're kind of my best friends. Mm. And this, this is Master Shifu. <laughs> Legend. Perhaps your father would care to join us in the training hall. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it'll be more fun just to watch me fight. The valley's under attack. Now you can see what being the dragon warrior is all about. Oh, it's all well. the jade guys are here. Prepare for war. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of jade zombies. Jade zombies? It's okay, Dad. I do this every day. The Master Badger twins with their crushing double gong technique. Ow. I thought he died 100 years ago. Get a quick sketch for us. <laughs> Did you get it? Oh, I blinked. Not being choked by Master Porcupine. This is so cool. Focus. Message from the universe. Stay away from my son. Uh, take this one. Ting. <laughs> yeah, check out my dumplings of doom. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> in their eyes. <laughs> Your chi will soon be mine. Is he talking to me? Which one? We should try that too. Maybe it'd be scary back at them. It'll just be stupid. It's not them talking. <laughs> it's me talking through that. Who? Okay. <laughs> Nobody knows who he is. The screen smoke just poof and then poof. Kai. Kai. No, nope. never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> It? It's like There's the so first time we've had a villain and nobody There's knows so who much he wisdom is. In here. Behold, all the answers will be found within. It's blank. Wait, wait, hold, hold on. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was just the end of it. I had a brother. We had a brother? In arms. Fighting by my side was Kai, my closest friend. One day, we were ambushed. My friend carried me for death. Days until we came to a secret village of pandas. <gasps> uh, pandas? Who used the power of chi to heal me. Kai wanted the power all to himself. I had to stop him. I banished Kai to the spirit realm. He can only be stopped by a true master of chi. <gasps> oh, his dad. There is no choice. I can teach you, son. That must be why the universe sent you here. You have to come home with me. You have to learn to live like a panda, sleep like a panda. Those 103 dumplings, I was just warming up. I've always felt like I wasn't eating up to my full potential. <laughs> <laughs> I want a second opinion. I think you should go. Fine, a third opinion. <laughs> Dad, you heard what Shifu said Ugwe said, and I can only master Chi by knowing who I really am. I'm a panda. I'll pack your lunch for the road. <sighs> Do you really think Poe can master Chi? It only matters what the universe thinks. So that's a no? <laughs> 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 I 
Uh, it's going to be a hard pass for me on those uh, suspending Ooh. rope bridges. It's <laughs> a little rickety. Well, this is going to be a long j- journey for them. They both have, you know, panda asthma. Yep. <laughs> Dad? Yes? <laughs> what are you doing here? Getting a backache. <laughs> What if the pandas don't have food you like? I consider my presence mission critical. We can't share the location of the village with others. I raised Poe for 20 years before I finally told him he was adopted. Okay. I guess it would be cruel to make you fly back. You can fly? <laughs> I'm a bird, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> There's another secret he kept from him then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 sure looks like a long ways up there. Whoa. Huh? This is the secret panda village. <laughs> if I live here, I wouldn't tell anyone either. <laughs> now it's, you can whoa. It's gonna clear up a little bit, isn't it? Mm-hmm. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Lee? He found his son. <laughs> <laughs> like dumplings. <laughs> they were. Oh, well, there's the panda asthma again. Yep. This is my son. Hello. Hi. Triplets. Oh, I'm cuckoo. Oh, mom got chased. And so just like his father. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We call it a snack list. That's right. Yum, 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 yum. It's you. So <laughs> you're like me, but oh, you're like me, but <laughs> with a hat. <laughs> <laughs> we roll. See, I told you <laughs> the pandas like to do is fall off things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. What kind of panda doesn't know how to roll? Well, I'm kind of new at this. You have a funny neck. <laughs> I'm not a panda at all. What's that? My beak. What's that? My wing. What's that? My dumplings. What are those for? These? These are chopsticks. They're for picking up dumplings. Yum. Yum. <laughs> I knew I wasn't eating up to my potential. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> I am Mamie. So beautiful, that sweet poem. <laughs> <laughs> Best ribbon dancer in the world. Look away. No, you can't, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep up. <sighs> I know what you're thinking. You do. How can one panda be so beautiful? Help me dance. Yeah, no, you're Help on your own. Help me dance. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> 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 Freddy. I have so much to learn. He's got to learn. I was gonna say it's all fun and games for dumplings. Yeah, yeah, I am. I was after the last one. What are you doing out here? Look out! Jade creatures attacked our villages. They must be in there. Master Shifu strongly advised us not to engage. Got to get in there. Even Master Chicken's going in there, and he's a chicken. <laughs> 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 I'll go high, you go low. No, wait. Antenna power! Ah, it didn't work! Mantis! Mantis. <gasps> your chi is strong, just like your friend, the bug. Oh, no, oh. I got him. Ooh. Don't worry, little birdie. I'll put your chi to good use. Wings up! Oh. Regret! <laughs> 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 Oh no, they got two of them. All right, flower. I'm gonna make you bloom. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what is it? I'm ready for my first day of panda training. Panda sleep till past noon. The last thing number one is go back to bed. Nobody said this was gonna be easy. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, show him, kids. Can you do this? Can you do that? I got it. Oh! <laughs> Paul, lunch time. 
Snack time. Oh. <laughs> you can fly. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there? That food is for poles. Panda. <laughs> Just let yourself fall into it. Got it. <laughs> Subtle Poe. We love noodles. Oh. Just like my Poe. <laughs> what are you guys looking at? It's a good first day of training. <laughs> You try again, but don't try so hard, okay? Mm, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'd be crushing this rent so much right now. Thanks, Dad. Showing me what it feels like to be a panda. When do you think I'll be ready? Ready? You know, to learn how to master chi. Soon. Real soon. Sorry about the mess. I don't usually get visitors. Is that what I think it's going to be? Yeah. Is this my mom? I had this done on your 100th day. You nearly ate the paper. <laughs> <laughs> she was the total package. Smart. Beautiful. I really had it all. Well, we took care of the peacock. Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if he's going to tell dad. You don't have to worry about losing me ever again. Let me get some of that. <laughs> Where's this guy come from? <laughs> he, he, he just happens to find the right moments. It's from the Eastern Province. Every master in China has vanished. The villagers evacuated. Done, master. Crane. Wait, it's them. Oh. Oh, oh it's here a he western. Comes. Ice. Very tacky. You are not fit to speak his name. I am not fit. I fought by his side. He betrayed me. I will destroy everything he has created. No. Oh. Oh. I mean, we saw what he did with just his finger. I will not let you destroy your great memory. Bestie! Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Thomas! Sorry, sorry! Bring them to me. Oh no. <sighs> oh, Just like no. that? It's so easy? Jesus. Must want Poe. Master, please. Ah. I will show you the true power of Chi, brother. Oh. Oh no. Just wiping it out. Ugwe, forgive me. <laughs> what do you say, Ugwe? Do you forgive him? You will never succeed. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, I hope you're ready. I'm getting the vibe these pandas haven't been practicing chi for a long time. They're kind of delaying it here. <laughs> hey, I don't know, man. Maybe they're just like super powerful and they don't use it because they don't need to. That could be yeah. too, yeah. It turned the table on him. <gasps> Tigress? What are you doing here? Kai attacked the valley. He's taken every master in China, including Shifu and the others. Everyone. Host my restaurant! <laughs> <laughs> He's after you, Po. He's after all pandas. Please tell me you've mastered chi. You need to teach me the secret chi technique now. No, no. I think yeah, you're right. I think, you're right. Come on. I think they've forgotten it. Now why won't you show me? Because I don't know it. Maybe we used to, but but not anymore. You lied? No, I... Yes. To save your life. I'm the dragon warrior facing maniacs. But because of you, I left the valley unprotected. They're all 
And you would have been too. I lost you once. That's fair. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> Wanted to get him out of there. You just did. Ouch. <laughs> oh, I'm so worried for you that I can't even enjoy being right about everything. Jeez. <laughs> run? There's nowhere to run. But what are you going to do? Fight that monster. He may be a monster, but he's still your father. <laughs> <laughs> Got like a little Home Alone thing yeah. coming here, or what? Like uh, Conan the Barbarian. Oh, it's a little training deal. Oh, he's gonna have to have a talk with him. You weren't the only one who was lying. I didn't really come along because I was worried. Yeah. I was worried you steal Poe from me. It means more for Poe. I'm not in his life. Not anymore. Welcome to parenthood. <laughs> <laughs> He still thinks he came from an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's hurt, and he still has to save the world. He needs both his dads. Oh, that's cool. What? <laughs> this isn't going to work. You're not thinking straight. I am. No. Yes, no. I am. I've seen what he can do. But he hasn't seen what I can do. I just have to get to Kai, grab his finger, and then skadoosh back to the spirit realm. You will never get close enough. It's gonna work. I don't know if I'm the dragon warrior. I don't even know if I'm a panda. You're right. There's no way I can stop him in his army. Unless you had an army of your own. All of us. All right. There we go. Now that. we're... <laughs> yeah. Now we're cooking with gasoline. <laughs> roll down the hill at him. Cooking with gasoline. Yeah. With gas. yeah. But you don't even know Kung Fu. Then you will teach us. I couldn't even teach Tigress. And she already knows Kung Fu. <laughs> look at, She's look at nodding. Jesus. <laughs> we can do this. We can learn Kung Fu. We can be just like you. What did you just say? I, we can be just like you. Yes. We can? You can't. Oh, ho, ho, ho. But you don't have to be. I don't have to turn you into me. I have to turn you into you. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Your real strength comes from being the best you you can be. What are you good at? What makes you, you? <laughs> good, good, good. Again. Huh? <laughs> hug that log like it's the last time you're ever going to hug it. Goodbye forever. You know they're gonna work all this into the final battle yeah, somehow. That's ba you know what it feels like. It feels like uh, like <laughs> ca like Karate Kid where he teaches the sanding and the waxing. Yep, but it has and then a different he, meaning. He, he teaches them how to apply that to, to a fight. Yep. Now try it with these. Nah. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> again. Again. <laughs> 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 oh my! <laughs> I think it's the first time since the first one he got it. What a montage! They are ready. Okay, pay attention, cause I'm only gonna go over this ten more times. <laughs> <laughs> the dumpling squadron will take position here, while the cookie squadron will take position here. The noodle squadron will. The important thing to remember is that this is the spot where <laughs> distract the zombies until I get close enough to put a whooshy finger hold on Kai. Oh, is he gonna remember? Mm. I wish I could have taught you this, son. It's okay, Dad. I'm. Oh boy! <laughs> Look at all the, <laughs> the flowers. Oh, that's what I call a dramatic entrance. Beast of vengeance, maker of widows. Yes, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take your chi shit chat in this shitty chitty chat. Oh, you pudgy little her. Round them all up. Hope his plan works. Here we go! Ready? Go time! Belly. Oh! <laughs> Spring roll squad! Time for some takeout! Ah. 
I don't know who you are either. Oh. <laughs> Get ready to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> All right, hey. Got it, guys. Oh no, Master Shifu. <laughs> I can. <and> so <laughs> oh, he made his own rhino oh, arm. Double that. Double that. <laughs> We've got this, son. Oh, go dance! Yeah. <laughs> what the hell what is that? Like cartwheel? Hey, he's all confused. Gotta send you back to the spirit realm. Skadoosh! No. Oh. <laughs> skadoosh, skadoosh, skadoosh. It's working. No. No. <laughs> no, it's not. It only works on mortals. <laughs> and by his pants. <laughs> Son! He's got to learn oh. the chi. It's the only way. Come on. I'm sorry. Run. Run! <laughs> This was the one destined to stop me. You really thought you could send me back to the spirit realm? You are just a stupid mortal. It only works on mortals. I can't send you there. But I can take you there. What's that? Ho! Son! Skadoosh! Whoa. What uh, are you yeah. seeing, Yang? Well, he, he took him there. He took Kai away. He saved us. He saved us? But who's saving him? Whoa! The spirit realm, it worked! Don't blame me. I tried to finish this in the regular realm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me. Look at him getting skinny now. Yeah. Oh. oh. Trying to take it. Come on, son. Fight! Okay, everyone, gather around. That's it. Coming close. We can do this. You guys better figure it out. You taught us who we were meant to be. Oh, come on the come edge. On. <laughs> A father. A friend. A dumpling kicker. <laughs> A hugger. <laughs> A family. Oh, family. family. And they have oh, it. Oh. Sweet. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Who are you? I've been asking the same question. Am I the son of a panda? The son of a goose? A teacher? I'm all of them. Oh. oh, Dragon Warrior. The Dragon Warrior. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that didn't work the way you thought. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps a bit of lunch. Cause I'm starving. Oh, oh, evaporated it. Let's do this. Heads up. Oh, his <laughs> <laughs> face is just smearing over the rocks. It took me five hundred years to take Ubwe's chi. Chitty chitty chat chat chit chat. <laughs> Oh. oh, the power is mine. Wait, no, that's too much. No, no, oh. 
<laughs> We're back! I'm still green, it didn't work! Oh, wait. Greeny baby! Not a baby! Not a baby! <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Poe? No, he's not here. Why isn't he back? So made up with Uguay. Mm -hmm. Dragon warrior. Uguay? I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, it suits you. You've grown, yep. as I hoped you would, when I sent the message to your father. You sent the oh, universe Sam. mail. Wow! Yes, I saw the future of Kung Fu. And the past? I saw the panda who could unite them both. What? Me? Just take it. I have a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> Ukwe, <laughs> don't go! I'm not going anywhere. I live here. I can go back? Who knows? I've never tried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the way back. Oh! oh you can't fly! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Dad! Oh, son! You saved me. You all did. Master Shifu! Wait, where did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course you did. <laughs> I think I mastered Shi. Oh, well, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> Can you teach me? Ready! They are doing kung fu. Nice! <laughs> And asthma. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Everybody can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Pose is just a little bit brighter, but mm -hmm. wow. Oh. All right. Right there we go, folks. Oh, the end of the line. What a good one. Now, with Kung Fu Panda 3, what a fun ride that was. You know, these movies never disappoint when they bring in new actors to do the voices, and we've talked before about you know how fun it is to, to try to figure out who it is. I don't think any of us were going to guess uh, Kate Hudson. No. Ah, Panther, no, no. I, I mean, even now, that. it's like I can't... You know, of course, know. Brian Cranston, such an iconic voice. Uh, J.K. Simmons. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been everywhere for us lately. Yeah. But, you know, this one was a lot of fun and, and a bit different because I liked how... It wasn't just one person who was the the hero and the master to save yep. the village. It was it was inside of everybody. Everybody had the ability to bring out their chi and and do their part to to help out. And it was just being who they were. You didn't have to be somebody else. And you know it's interesting because the other two movies, not that they were light on a on a theme or a particularly mess a particular message that they had. It's just they would have the action and the fun. Then they would have the message, and then they would go back to the action and the fun. I kind of thought that was the uh, kind of the the story of how they did the first two. This one, I thought they did a real good job of kind of having it progress throughout the whole movie, and uh, you got that kind of that storyline and that message throughout the whole thing, not just in one spot about essentially, you know, being yourself, uh, being the, what's essentially the best version of yourself mm -hmm. that, that you, uh, care to become. And, and that's in the end, what, what won the day it wasn't just one person having all the power because as we saw when JK Simmons character, Kai got all the power that, uh, didn't go so well. And he, uh, exploded in the <laughs> spirit realm. And, uh, so who knows how that's going to work out. I'm really curious to see where they go with the fourth one here but uh you know this one was just an absolute home run they've done such an amazing job with all three of these movies and this one didn't disappoint so i absolutely loved it i thought it was great and i again i really liked how they drove home the message throughout the whole story 
Yeah, I loved it that it was like, it was a team effort and it, he had to be a teacher. The one thing he hasn't done, I mean, he's been somewhat the leader in all their fights, you know, where he would say, do this, do that. But he never like led them as far as like a teaching aspect. And he saw right away, <clears throat> not very good, not very good. They were running into each other yeah. and everyone. And so he needed to get back to his roots to really help him get you know get himself centered and then become the teacher that he could be and it did work at first until he realized the skadoosh didn't work this time nope. but this was a lot of fun because it was a great ending to the trilogy you know they didn't know seven years ago that they were going to have a fourth and hopefully lucky enough next year we get this fourth one but this was so much fun to watch the I was hoping that the dads would come together, and I, yeah. and they did. And I immediately was thinking of the short-lived television series, My Two Dads. But it was great to see them, and I was hoping that I would get the pep talk from <clears throat> from uh, from one dad to the other, which they did do. That was great at the end, and it was just so much fun. It was. It wasn't as funny to start, but it really built up on the comedy, especially when he got to the Panda Village, which is what made me really enjoy it. And then that's where all the funny, the humor was. But then also J.K. Simmons, like, never knowing who Kai was. Don't know who I am? Nobody? Who is this Nobody? guy? <laughs> and then finally, Poe did, and he's like, finally, <laughs> thank you. Oh, you know, so... It. As uh, as you can describe every movie in this series, just so much fun, lighthearted fun, and a great message that, you know, you have to believe in yourself. You, and it's all about being you the whole time. The whole three movies is about Paul discovering who he was. Mm -hmm. and, and three uh, little surprises here. I wasn't sure if, uh, if Jean-Claude Van Damme was back, but he was back <laughs> as Master Croc. And uh, Angelina uh, Jolie and Brad Pitt's uh, two kids got to have some roles. Yep, as Mang Mang and Shushu. Yeah, Pax and Knox got to be in this, so that's fun uh, family uh, effort. Yeah, you know, when we oh. when these movies were recommended, um, oh, the four of them, people oh. had spoken so highly <laughs> of all three movies. And so I was really excited to start them. <clears throat> the first two... I had a lot of fun with and that they were very lighthearted. They had some some good lessons. They were good comedy, but they didn't feel quite, I guess, as deep on the lessons as some of the other um, animated movies that we watch. How to Train Your Dragon, I thought was incredible. Um, Tangled, I yeah. thought was incredible. Up. I mean, some of these animated movies that for as much as they're marketed towards kids, um, any adult that watches them, you really you really take so much away from them. And uh, again, it's not that I felt like the first two movies didn't have some good lessons, but this one I felt really, um, really had a lot of depth. It was just as fun and just as entertaining as the first two, but it carried for me such a powerful message. And answer hit it with the first two. It was very much just a message of, you know, believe in yourself and be who you are with, you know, this this panda who wasn't the prototypical kung fu master mm -hmm. coming in and, and really stepping up and, and taking his place. But this one for me just felt a lot different and in a really good way. Um, I loved, you know, it, it's interesting, like some movies, depending on, you know the, the the type of movie they are the lessons you kind of got to you know read through the lines and and take away where with this there was the i mean right out of the gate um shifu had said if you only do what you can do you will never be more than you are now and it's it's interesting because you know and i brought this up before i, I work for um for arnold schwarzenegger and he's got a very famous you know his six rules of success and one of them is um, don't be afraid to fail. And he talks about how much he's failed in his life. And I think that's that's what Master Shifu was trying to say is, you know, he was afraid to, Paul was afraid to, you know, do things that he hasn't tried before. And he's like, you're, you're going to fail, but you have to be able to, you know, be willing to take those risks. So I love that. Um, and then another line that he just threw right out, there isn't any interpretation, is he's not trying to turn you into me, he's trying to turn you into you. And I think that is so powerful, especially in an age where, you know, and, and I, I work in social media, so I'm not trying to be the old guy like, oh, social media is the worst. Uh, I think it's, it's great for a lot of things and connecting people, but I also do believe we live in an era, possibly more so than ever, where you see other people's highlight reels and you're always just, you know, I want to be like that person or I want to be like somebody else. And it's like, it's such a great lesson to tell you just to try to be the best version of yourself. So I absolutely love that lesson. Um, 
And, you know, it was interesting that they used this term chi yeah. um, <clears throat> and to, to talk about, um, you know, learning it for yourself, but also that it's something that can be shared. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was really interesting that they made a very strong point of talking about how chi can be shared. And I think, you know, what it, it didn't have a, a direct line like, that you could pull from like the first two is Shifu. But you know, what I took away from that sharing chi is that, um, is that there's, there's a lot to be said for giving the best of yourself to other people and for believing in other people. And I've said this before in other movies. Um, and I'm not sure off the top of my head, which, which quote I said this, but I know I said something very similar along the lines of it's, it's one thing to believe in yourself. Right. And we're, we're taught that so much in movies and everything. You got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in yourself. But there is so much power in knowing that other people believe in you also. And I feel like that is kind of the part of the lesson here with this, like being able to give chi is like you're giving other people power. And it's like in this world, it's not you, you don't have to give somebody something material, but giving of yourself to another person or believing in somebody else. There's there's so much power in that. And, you know, and, and also in, in the chi, I think it's, you know, positivity and, and brightness and positive energy is something that can be shared. Like if you're somebody who's a positive person and, you know, you have, you know, a, a general optimistic outlook in life that can be shared with other people and can be really positive. And the last big lesson that I took away is Kai was out there and he wasn't trying to be necessarily the best version of himself. What he was trying to do is take from other people, right? And he was like, well, I'm going to take your power and then I'm going to have this and I'm going to take your power and I'm going to have that. And it wasn't even like taking material things. He just wanted other people's, mm -hmm. wanted other people's chi. Yeah, their ability. Um, and, you know, I, I think that's a really powerful lesson. Like you don't have to dim somebody else's light to make your shine brighter in this world. You don't. It's not about that. It's and, and I just I just feel like this movie just hammered home these really powerful lessons: the the believing in yourself, <clears throat> the give of yourself, and in Kai's character, his entire character was this giant metaphor of you don't have to dim somebody else's light. You don't have to take somebody else's chi to be a more powerful version of yourself. And and I just you know for as fun as this movie was, it was every bit as as much fun and had as much comedy as the first two mm -hmm. but i just feel like the lessons and i know mason yeah. quinn you had said that do you guys feel like this movie just hit a little different than the first two it, it did because it had the whole aspect of his real dad and his you know adoptive father you that know come into it too. that's yeah that's huge and like you and you could easily see the the jealousy type and thing because they could because friction. you know Paul was like oh my 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 dad so it's like my shiny new toy I want to play with this so you know that is, uh, that the dad that raised him is going to be a little more jealous on that yeah and I, and again I just liked how they showed that the chi was inside of everybody and the whole village could come together and now now everybody can defend the village it's not just one superhero who we all have to depend on and and they're the greatest and we're just whatever it's like no we're all great as well and I, I like you Oak I really like the idea of you know it's it can sound a bit cheesy but it's it's true if you've been around people man when you put all positive energy that that's infectious mm -hmm. and it, it can change a room you know and it can really it can change you know a lot of different people's outlooks who might otherwise uh you know be a bit negative and and sure at sometimes paul was giving you know his uh, you know ling uh li shang a little more time but he never he never digressed and stopped calling his dad is dad right and even when he at the end too he's like dads and he hugs both of them so i, I love that aspect too that he didn't he didn't quit on one to have the new one you know i thought it was really <clears throat> interesting and i debated whether to bring this up because it's a, it's a it's a little bit personal and, and it's it can be personal for a lot of people out there as well and I, i've talked before about how movies try to teach lessons to kids but they also teach lessons for parents and when poe's dad said i was worried that when you came into the picture, there was going to be less of Poe for me, but I realized there was just going to be more for Poe. And yeah. whether you caught that or not, if you're somebody who's in a co-parenting situation, I really feel like that message was sent out there for you. Um, I grew up, my parents divorced when I was young. Um, 
it, it, she doesn't watch the channel, so uh, you know I, I shouldn't worry about her being too upset. Um, look, my, my mom worked very, very hard to raise four children. Um, she wasn't always the most positive about my father, and uh, looking back, it was like, uh, you know, which was weird because my stepdad, who you know, uh, him and my dad were never like buddy buddy, but my stepdad, I'm you know, I'm 43, my stepdad has never said a single negative word about my father ever in my entire life you know whether he had those thoughts or his beliefs i would never know it because my stepdad never said a single word and neither my my dad about my stepfather and um and my my father and my stepfather are two very very different people but they they're they're very you know they're very good people in their in their own right and you know so i'm lucky that my dad's you know were like that but i can say honestly and again my my mom is a saint, bless her heart, but she, you know, she was, you know, not always the best at at, at, at the 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 co-parenting thing, and it spilled over onto us. Um, and I think my stepdad recognized that, and that was part of why he was the way he was. But as as a parent, and um, you know, I'm I'm with my fiance, um, my my son's mom, and we've been together for a long time, so I don't want to get overly preachy because I understand how difficult things can can be sometimes and how messy they can be given that I came from a situation like that but I think it was a really powerful message for parents out there who aren't still together who are working on co-parenting who have you know split families and stuff like that that like coming together as parents is what's best for the kid and I, I mean I feel like that I yeah, mean that was big. maybe yeah. I'm taking it a little yeah. personal because of my situation but it felt like it was a co-parenting lesson didn't it yeah yeah, it did. I mean, the way, because you could have very easily done a couple of minutes on, like, you know, the, the two dads having friction and not getting along and a little bit of angst there or whatever, but they didn't. They both just kind of rolled with it and did what was best for Poe. So I I really liked how they did that. And then he saw that, well, his his mother, you know, gave up herself for right. Poe to, yeah. to, you know, live on. So both the dads had to see that, too. That's like, hey, you know, and the day there's only there's only us two. There's no mother because she gave up herself for Poe. So we should do the same. Yeah. It would have been nice to have a couple of seconds of maybe Poe saying, "I, I handled the situation. I got rid of the peacock." Yeah. <laughs> something along those lines. A little bit better than that. Well, he he you did say you'll never. Saying. Yeah. I was I was curious as to whether he was going to be up. like I avenged mom right. but i think you know i almost think they left that out on purpose because they you know he wanted to give his dad the message like you're never going to lose me again mm -hmm. but he didn't want they didn't want to kind of throw the, the vengeance thing in right. here <laughs> maybe, maybe vengeance. not for going through panda maybe leave that for batman the vengeance maybe. thing <laughs> right right like i avenged mom because yeah. i don't think uh i don't you know who knows what dad wanted but he didn't he didn't quite seem yeah, like that, that kind derailed of derailed an otherwise great story but uh yeah i i did feel like again this i thought was every bit as good as the oh. the first two in the comedy and the and, and all that but man i really felt like this one hit harder so yep i was uh i've been on a roll this week folks and uh i was i was leaving some room for improvement on the first Hulk, two eraser and uh they certainly wings of eraser five out of five <laughs> answers for me on kung fu panda three the, the first two were very 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 good this one was perfection they really nailed it all right I still think the first one is probably still my favorite, but it's not like it was bad. I still give it a 4.8 out of five answers. Yeah, you know, I think I gave the first two boys both that uh, boy, both 4.75s. <laughs> I might have given one 4.5. I haven't made notes, but I, I didn't. I didn't look back at the notes. But this one for me, again, it had all the elements that I felt were so great about the first two movies which uh you know caused me to give the first two a very high score but it added in those great lessons that we just talked about so for me yep. i'm going with mason oh. quinn i was hoping i would get a five yep. uh, out of the first few and uh i didn't but this one for me yeah. uh, I they saved the best this? for last kung fu panda 3 Five out of five answers yeah, for me. Don't, 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 don't give me wrong. I still love it. I still love it. Don't get me wrong, but one is still my favorite. So for Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn, I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals. What an end of a trilogy. On to a fourth. For now.